Hey guys, it's Ross Scott, and on the Space Couch today, as you know, I've recently read the Dune series, read the Foundation trilogy, and not so long back, I reread the Hyperion Cantos. And in retrospect, they've got a common theme. So here we have Dune, here we have Foundation, and here we have, this is actually Fall of Hyperion, just because my copy of Hyperion is lent out to Mike at the moment. And they're basically, they're all about human empires facing an existential threat. Or, in the case of the two of them, the threat of complete extinction. So, obviously, in Dune, the long-established human empire under the Padishah emperors gets overthrown by Muad'Dib. And then, obviously, the god Emperor Leto and his golden path is essentially trying to find a way to prevent the um, annihilation of the human Rex. Because he sees in the multiple futures, I think, is it um, hunter killers from Ix that get developed that will wipe out the entire species. So it's all about trying to avoid that fate. And as far as I'm aware, that is successful. Fortunately, he gets to the end of his golden path, he dies, and then humanity is free to go on the scattering and everything that follows after. And then, of course, Foundation is all about the fact that the Empire is in decline, it just doesn't know it, and it has been for a very long time. Harry Selden, of course, cycle history, and all of that, with the first and the second Foundations, trying to find a way to prevent the complete collapse of the empire for tens of thousands of years, 30,000 years, instead just for um, 1,000 years, a very short interregnum. And then, of course, the Hyperion Cantos. Again, human empire, long established, existential threat from the ousters, they think, but actually from the AI techno core instead, who are quite happy to wipe out humanity if necessary. And the use of the crusty forms of killing humans all of the time to use that processing power uh, that increases when the, um, the neurons in the brain are firing their last. So yes, they're all about existential threats to humanity and the human empire. And what's interesting is those empires do actually collapse. All of them collapse. Um, the Dune Empire, obviously, uh, the famine times and the scattering, and then the ones that come back from the scattering. So that empire is long gone, as far as I'm aware. I haven't read the Brian Herbert book, so I don't know what the political situation is at the end of, say, Chapter House Dune, galaxy-wide, if there's any kind of Imperium or Landsbrack at all. As the Kasimov's foundation, obviously that empire collapses uh, or shrinks to um, a shadow of its former self. And uh, the uh, foundation foundations are what is to bring it together. And, of course, that ends up with the uh, Gaia, uh, at the very end, which it's been ages since I've read it, but I think it's like, it's not exactly a hive mind from what I recall, but it was along those lines as a harmonious grouping of all the individuals in the galaxy. And then, of course, in the Hyperion Cantos, the Empire does fall as well. I mean, what is it? What's the name of Is it? I can't remember the name of the political federation in that, but it falls and... Um, the Catholic Church rises in the end, and that falls as well. And religion plays a part in each of these also. In Dune, obviously, Mudib and the Jihad and all of that. In um, Foundation, it is um, religion is one of the tools they use to help um, mitigate the effects of the collapse. Although in the book it says religion is all played out as a force, the next force that will be used will be economic power instead. And of course, in the Hyperion Cantos, it is the Catholic Church uh, that hijacks um, the cruciform and all of that um, for its own purposes, unsuccessfully in the end. But yes, interesting the common themes they have. Empires either about to collapse or collapsing, religion and the role that it plays, the rise and the fall of religion in those books, all three of those books, in fact. So, yes. Interesting, because they're all from very different times. Uh, uh, foundation first in, what, the late 30s, 1940s, just at the cusp of the atomic era. So that's why I think everything is powered by atomics. Knives, guns, cars, what have you. Dune in the 1960s, just on the cusp of the computer technological era that we're in now. And he deals with that by basically um, having had mankind having the Butlerian Jihad to get rid of all thinking machines. And then, of course, in Hyperion, which um, I think 89, 1990, this came out. So, again, at the very cusp of the internet era 
and it basically has extrapolated quite successfully um, into like what is that the old thing and the various um, different platforms that they have um, the AI Technicor's own reality as it were all that sort of stuff how that's depicted is I think a fascinating extrapolation of what we have in virtual reality today but yes great books all of them great series all of them in fact although obviously uh, <laughs> I struggled a bit with uh, the later Doom books. I struggled a bit the first time I read them with the later Hyperion books, uh, but when I reread those, they were much, uh, much more interesting uh, than I thought previously. But yes, that is just my thoughts on the common themes, not similarities as such, but the common themes of these three books, Frank Herbert's Dune, Isaac Asimov's Foundation, and Dan Simmons's Hyperion Cantos. All of them are classics of the genre, and you should definitely check them out. If you haven't, but for now, I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this content. Leave me a comment suggestion for what kind of topic you'd like to see discussed or like the video.